Hello, everyone. We have the official end of service announcement. So October 30th is going to be the last day. They're going to shut down the game, close the servers, delete the accounts, and we won't be able to play anymore. So that gives us about two months to continue to play the game. Uh, they have made it so we can no longer spend cash on the game. Uh, they have also done a bunch of reruns and added a bunch of stuff to the shops and everything. So first of all, end of service announcement. October 30th, official end date. As far as the rest of the story, so the last Season 4 update we got is the last in-game update we're getting. Uh, they are saying that they're going to make the rest of Season 4 available in video format on their YouTube channel. So we have that. Also, a shout out to Sinzar, who's been doing pretty much the same thing, uh, translating the JP side of the story for us. So we have the option of watching uh, his videos directly from the JP side, too, to see the end of... Uh, Season 4, if you want that option. Uh, the last Morgana challenge we got, they did a slight nerf. Essentially, they made it so we can dispel her defensive buffs. I haven't gotten quite to this yet, but from the one before, I believe using a limit burst makes her buff her defense, and I forget if it was also mitigation. So it sounds like we can dispel those now instead of being stuck for a bunch of turns, not being able to do anything. We do have a free 10 summon. Be able to do this every single day. They also have some bundles. So 50 energy pots by four, by one. You can get uh, eighth anniversary lapis replica. And then they have the uh, tickets for everything there. So aside from what they made easily seeable in the news there. So you can see there's a bunch of events that they're rerunning. They haven't reset any rewards, obviously. So this is probably the last update we're getting essentially until they close. Because they gave us a bunch of stuff to go through and uh, spend their time on. Uh, land swarming with Omega Spawn, so that's the latest farm event. So this now rewards 8th uh, Anniversary Lapis Replica, and that is affected by drop rate. So my team got just over 1,000 Lapis Replica from a test run. And they've also updated some shops. So they did bring back the raid, so we have the Esper of Destruction, Lapis Replica scene. That was in the regular box summons. Clearing that itself doesn't give that Lapis Replica. I did test that. As far as the 8th Anniversary Replica, so as you can see, they're pretty much letting us get almost unlimited of everything. So Unit Select Ticket, Fragment Ticket, Vision Card Tickets, everything in there. Uh, they also added the uh, pity tickets and uh, banner coins for the pretty much everybody starting at Rain and Tyvis. So Rain, Tyvis, Laswell, and Roos. So we get a chance to get all that from the Lapis Replica shop itself. They also updated the 8th uh, anniversary unit of choice. Pretty much everybody ending right before Rain. So now the uh, choices got added in. So after Aang there, so they added in Ash, Fundamental, Clive, Jill, Sid, and Benedicta. They did also update the Omega Swarm exchange shop. So they made, they added in some more uh, 8th Anniversary Lapis Replica. Made some stuff, just unlimited buys. And then at the bottom, they added in a bunch of stuff. So uh, Vision Select Tickets, the Volt Drops, Xenostone Shards, Faceted Orbs, Dark Vision Tickets, Esper Auras, Galvanite, King Pots, Azure Pearls. So the only thing I didn't see is there's no Dark Matter to buy. A little disappointing, but looks like we can buy pretty much everything else. They've also updated all these shops to pretty much be open till the end. 
And then they've also updated so the eighth anniversary uh fragment ticket got the same update, so it goes all the way up to Wilhelm. So it does include the premiums, they just take two tickets per. But as you can see, they added all the units. So essentially, we have a chance to unit of choice, all the non-premium units, and fragment uh, buy for pretty much everybody else. It's going to take a bit of farming. They didn't make the uh, stuff super cheap, but we do have that option there. And that's pretty much all the uh, updates that I've noticed. So I still got a couple of things to do. We'll still do a couple of videos. Uh, they... I do have a bunch of tickets. If you want to see another pull, to, uh, pull video, let me know. Because I'm going to just get all my tickets together and pretty much do them all at once. So if you want to see that video, I can save it for the video. I still got a couple of things to finish collecting some of the tickets. But uh, pretty much that's all the news we have. So end of service officially confirmed now. I'm going to play straight up until the end. Uh, this is one of my favorite games. I really like the CG and the pixel graphics merged together, and the mechanics. Uh, the team building, I had a lot of fun building different teams, trying different things, beating the same events with different units. So a lot of that was all fun for me. So definitely going to miss this. But uh, we're just going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.